I keep seeing comments that say, I bought your slime on eBay and it was horrible and it sucked. And that got me curious because we don't sell our slime on eBay. So I went on and I found a bunch of slimes marketed as Peachy Babies. And today we're gonna see how bad they really are. Starting off with this one. Some of these are marketed as Peachy Baby slime. Some of them are marketed as unused and some of them are marketed as slightly used, which sounds disgusting to me. I don't want anybody's slightly used Peachy Baby slime. I think the reason that people are buying this on eBay is to get a cheaper version of it, but this, this one was $125. And this is what I got. This is pumpkin spice latte. This is one of our older, oh my gosh, it's so deactivated. Oh my goodness. I wonder whose fingers have been in this. This is one of our older fall slimes. I don't even think we sold this this year. So this is probably from 2022 or 2021. It shows. Looking at this, I'm not seeing any hair or particles of anything. So maybe it truly is unused. It still smells like pumpkin spice. If you're gonna sell slime that somebody else made, why wouldn't you at least sell it with the activator pen that I know you got? This, I believe, is a memory dough, which is one of the harder slimes to deactivate. And I have never seen one this deactivated before. I'm gonna grab some activator. Somebody give me activator. <laughs> I'm melting, help me. <laughs> so if you heard me say $120 and you were just absolutely shocked, trust me, I was also absolutely shocked when I saw that they were going for so much and I was really confused, but I guess it's because some of these are slimes that we don't sell anymore. So people think like, oh, they're limited edition. So I gotta get my hands on them. You don't want somebody else's slime. There was one of these slimes that I ordered that was $169. It was our strawberry shortcake ice cream bar slime that we don't sell anymore. So it was selling for almost $200 that does not include the shipping and taxes and it never showed up. I ordered that in August and it is now December. So not only are there weird used slimes being sold, but there's also just like a scam slime ring where people just take your money and they don't ever give you the slime. So keep an eye out for that on eBay. Now that I've put the care back into this slime, it is really coming back to life here. Welcome back home. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> you were born here. What a crazy life story for this slime. It was born in this building. It left to go to some strange state with some person who put it up on the shelf and never appreciated it fully. Was sold for over a hundred dollars. Wow, fancy girl. And then came back home to her family. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful story. So I guess for the sake of that beautiful coming home story, it's worth it for me to have bought this slime, but I would not suggest anybody else go spend $100 on a slime that you can buy from peachybabies.com right now. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is good to know that a slime that is probably about two years old can come back to life like this if you put in the effort. Welcome home, pumpkin spice latte. I'm sorry for all of the trauma you have been through. Let's go see what's up with our next eBay package. This next one I also bought off of eBay. It was marketed as Peachy Baby Slime. Now, I would like for you to take a look with me. Look really closely at this box and tell me, do you think this is a Peachy Baby Slime? Peachy Baby's Butter Slime? Oh, what? This is the exact slime that I bought off of Timu like two months ago. Where does this come from? Why is it all the same slime? I can't believe that people can market on eBay as peachy babies and it's just so blatantly not at all. That's crazy. Everything on here that is a scam and fake has been reported, but if you see any more, make sure to report it yourself. But let's see how bad the slime really is. How did I do that? The two very stark colors. This is just absolutely the hardest piece of slime you've ever felt. Ooh. Imagine somebody really enjoying Peachy Babies and then saving up and buying it off of eBay. And this is what you get? Oh my gosh, I'd probably cry. And I'd probably leave a hate comment too saying your slime suck. But this is why we only ever buy slime from the correct source. Peachybabies.com. Speaking of peachybabies.com, did you know that every Friday, right before our restock, we go live on this exact YouTube channel? Every Friday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. But I would suggest joining the YouTube because that is where the fun happens. Okay, I'm just gonna open these all real quick and then we'll get back into it. We've got really cool charms, very cute sprinkles, and then these weird stickers that say butter slime, happy time with boys and girls. I've never understood that, but they always say that. But the slime itself, I'm gonna say not great. And I don't understand why I keep running into this brand everywhere. I see it on Timu, I see it on Wish, I see it on Amazon. eBay apparently marketed as Peachy Babies, blasphemy. Ow. 
a little bit upsetting, honestly, because I understand reselling somewhat, even though I think it's gross, but this is another level of deception. Shame on you, butter slime. Happy time with boys and girls. I'm not even gonna give it the time of day. On to the next slime. Next, this one was marketed as lightly used. Ew, okay, that means someone else's fingers have definitely been in this. What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. This is Peachy's Berry Smoothie Slime, an old summer slime that we used to sell. What does a lightly used slime mean? How many hairs can I pick out of this slime? <laughs> so far, I'm counting one singular potentially human hair. Not bad, only one. Now this one was also a discontinued slime. I believe the listing price for this was $45, which is interesting because our slimes typically sell from $15 to $20. So I don't see any reason why you would need to be spending $45. Maybe the extra hair, the texture's not horrible. It's because of us, so. But I do appreciate that they also included the activator pen. That's very nice. But what they did keep is the wristband, which I get very excited about my wristband and stickers that I get from Peachy Babies. So they kept the extra cool goodies. Overall, was it worth the money? It's a great Peachy Baby slime, but I would not pay $45 to get it secondhand. On to the next one. Next, we have an entire box. So I'm hoping that this one is a clay kit. It's a clay kit. Oh, this is a really old slime. We don't even sell this container anymore. This is a relic, honestly. A super old container. It looks untouched, very underactivated, but clean, which is good. And then we have the clay kit, which looks like it might have never been opened. Perfectly intact clay with the two little guys still in here. Welcome home. Now this almost makes me sad a little bit, right? Because I understand the idea of getting something and being so excited and thinking that it's so valuable that you don't touch it and you never put it together and you never fully play with it in order to resell it. But know that the value of you playing with it is worth more than you think. <laughs> this definitely needs a lot of activation. Oh, this is bad. What is happening? What the heck is going on? Oh my goodness, I'm being attacked by a slime. This thing is like a sponge. It's just absorbing all of the activator and doing absolutely nothing with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe it's the gloves. Ah, wah. <laughs> I'm ditching the gloves because sometimes gloves make the slime extra sticky. Well, this extremely old slime definitely reacted weirdly to being reactivated. That was not something I expected. Let's see how it reacts to us mixing in the clay. The clay still feels surprisingly not dry at all. I was expecting it to be pretty dried out after almost two years sitting in this container, but that's like completely normal clay. That's impressive, wow. Look at how pretty those colors are together. Let's see how the texture changes as I mix in the clay for the clay kit. I think I freaked out a little bit in the activation process and accidentally overactivated this stuff a lot. I think I honestly need to let it sit for a couple of weeks to have it deactivate a little bit because it's very overactivated. I thought it needed a lot more than it did. This one is the most worth the value of what it was sold for because this was sold for about $50. If I didn't overactivate it, it would be obviously in a better state than it is right now, but still definitely not ideal. I don't know about this one. On to the next one. This is our final slime that I bought off of eBay and I can already tell that there's an activator pen in here. <gasps> and a whole container thingy. This is good customer care. Kitten snacks. This is an old container and an old label. And you can tell it's never been played with because the gradient is still intact. We have our old product photos. We have different photos on here now. This is so cool. And look, shout out peachybabies.com on the bottom there if you wanna buy your own slime that is perfectly intact and beautiful in nature. <laughs> peachybabies.com. Thank you for giving me a bracelet. I will wear that every day of the rest of my life. Now let's check out the slime itself. Ooh. <laughs> Oh boy, it's a very nice orange scent, but oh my goodness, that is so deactivated. This is an old slime that we used to have. It is called Kitten Snacks. Oh my gosh, this is literally just glue. It doesn't even have a name on the label. It's just a bunch of pictures of cat food, which I think is very cute. This was in the Peachy Baby's Warehouse before I was ever in the Peachy Baby's Warehouse. Whoa, think about that for a second. And all of you, because none of you have been here either. That's crazy. Very slightly activated. Oh no. 
Oh, I'm gonna ruin the gradient. Now, I feel like this would be a good time to say that although I did get five slimes from this, four of them being actual Peach Baby slimes, two of them being cool relics that I actually enjoyed playing with, there were about five other slimes that I did order that never showed up. So there's somebody on eBay selling Peach Baby slimes exclusively and they are just never shipping them out. I'm gonna be looking into that later this afternoon, but for kitten snacks, still quite enjoyable to play with. Smells great, cool old Peach Baby's container. The effort that you have to put in to reactivate a slime like this when you should be getting your slime in the mail ready to go or just needing a few sprays from your activator pen. I don't know, not for me for sure. And the price range, ridiculous. So if you have ever bought a Peach Baby slime off of somewhere like eBay or Etsy or Amazon or wherever that wasn't exactly peachybabies.com and you were unhappy with your purchase, I am so sorry and I somewhat understand. I now have gone through your pain as well. It just goes to show that if you are in the market for a beautiful, slime. The one place to go is peachybabies.com at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for watching me open all of these Peachy Babies scam slimes, and I will see you next week.